Hey, what's wrong with you, man? You ain't subscribed yet? IEYC Atlanta Burning 2.0. What you waiting on? Get it done, do it now. Hey, get them clicks, get them likes, and subscribe. Do it now. Watch this, watch this, watch this, don't go nowhere. Cause you, cause you, cause, don't go nowhere, officer. Cause, cause, cause you asked for this, sister, hold on. Isaiah chapter 29, verse 13. Wherefore, the Lord said, for as much as this people draw near to me with their mouth. Because our people, we love a good song. We like, we like church because it sounds good. We like church because it appears to be good. When you go to church, if feels good when you sit down and it's a good word it might be something that you can identify with but it's not feeding your spirit because it's not god's word read and with their lips do honor me because you said you know that the sabbath well you just heard that the sabbath is on saturday you thought it was on sunday now you know it's on saturday so now you are hearing God's words. Right. You know better now. You were taught by who? My not by your church, not by your parents, but by the men that's standing here right. reading the right. Bible to you. Right. That's right. You wasn't taught by the people that you say you give honor to. We're telling you and we're showing you there's a better way, sis. Right. That's right. What you say you learned, we're telling you you learned wrong right. we're telling you that out of love right. your pastor is telling you wrong because he's not reading the book right. your parents didn't know because they weren't reading the book right. guess what our parents didn't know because they weren't reading the book right. our pastors didn't know because they weren't reading the book right. we were all in the same situation that you're in sis right. we were on that side of the signs but that's right. why but that's why we're teaching you today. Yes. Read. Okay. But have removed their heart far from me, and their fear towards me is taught by the precept of men. The precepts that you've learned thus far in the churches, by your parents, by everybody that's taught you that you were a Baptist, that taught you that you were non-denominational, taught you that you was an uh, African-American, that you was a Negro, that you was black, that you was all these different names. Right. Nobody's ever said you're an Israelite and you're a daughter of Sarah. That's right. Nobody's ever told you that you are, a, you are the daughter of God. That's right. Nobody's ever said that your name should be Israel and not whatever your last name was because it, be it belongs to your plantation owner. Right. Nobody's ever told you that. Right. We're telling you that today's God's holy day, today's the Sabbath day, you have to keep it holy. You have to have the holy convocation. Tonight's the new moon. You never celebrated a new moon before in your life. You didn't know that the Bible was real because you've never been taught that the Bible was real. You thought it was a storybook. You thought it was a book. You thought it was a bunch of letters that was put together that all you had to do was apply some of it to your life and you was going to be okay. Right. This is this is the instructions how to live your life. Right. This is instructions of how do you live your life. That's right. Hosea 3 and 4. This is instruction of how to live your life. Right. That's right. Your body, if you don't read the instruction, what is a, what is instruction if you don't read it? If you open a box full of parts, full of parts in it, uh, of furniture, you open a big box of furniture, got all these parts in it, a thousand pieces, you got instructions, you take the instructions, you put it on the shelf, and you start putting it together. And you got a bag full of parts. Bring it out. And the damn shelves is crooked. Let them know. You thought you did right, though. Read. Always. Thank you. Don't go nowhere or, or take this with you. One or the other. Hosea chapter 4 and verse, and verse 6. My people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. What of our people? Destroyed for the lack of knowledge. That's why you're looking in our communities. There's a church on every corner. Everybody got a mama and a papa. Everybody got somebody that say they know better. But why is our neighborhoods look like this? Bring it out. Because our people are destroyed. Read. 
Because thou hast rejected knowledge. Because she did what? Rejected knowledge. Why did the sister walk away? Rejected knowledge. Because the sister did what? Rejected knowledge. Why did the sister do? Rejected knowledge. Because if it was a smooth song, she would have stayed. If we were singing the Temptation songs, she would have been here. If we was giving her the smooth songs and we was dancing, stepping, making it feel good to her, she's still been here. If we was telling her thou art loosed, she would have still been here with us. Sister, come back. We're telling, we're telling, we're giving you the instruction of how to live your life. Ain't nobody ever told our people Come back to God. That's right. Our people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Right. If you don't believe me, open your eyes and look around you. Look at your neighborhoods. Who destroyed our neighborhoods? Who put drugs in our neighborhoods? Who put the guns in our neighborhoods? Cascade didn't used to look like this. I was here 20 years ago. Cascade didn't look like this. How did it get like this? Who put the drugs in? Who destroyed the neighborhood? Hmm? Read it again. My people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Our people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Mark 7. What is the knowledge of God? What do we need? What do we need to live? What is the instruction that our people need? I'm going to show you the opposite of what the devil gives you because the devil also gives you gifts. The devil gives you gifts too. Because if God ain't giving it to you, who's giving it to you? It Who gives the drug dealers money? Bring it out. Who gives them the big car? Teach. Who gives them the, the, the women that they think that means good for them and destroy their lives? Teach. Who keeps the court systems full? Who keeps the prisons full? Everybody inside of, inside of jail think they smart until they sitting back there with a number on their chest. Read Mark 7. Far, far within, out of the heart of men, Proceedeth evil thoughts. So these are the, the gifts that the devil gives you. You understand? Young man, what's your name? Huh? Josh. Joshua. I can't hear you. Joshua. Josh. What's your name, big, big man? Sylvester. Sylvester, what's your name, big man? Joshua. Joshua, so Josh and Josh? No, Zay. Pray? Zay. Zay. Alright. Read. For far within, out of the heart of men, proceedeth evil thoughts. So the devil puts these thoughts in your head. And the devil is the one that keeps feeding these thoughts. That's right. He gives you everything that you need Teach. to stay away from God. Right. Everything that you need, that that sister stood right here and thought that she was doing right, she thought she was in the right. Bring it out. She would have argued with me until she was blue in the face. Bring it out. I promise you, if she was sitting on the bus, if we were sitting on the bus right now, she'd argue me to the last stop. Right. Read. Adulteries. Fornication, murders, thefts, covetousness, wickedness, deceit, lasciviousness, an evil eye. All of those things, the devil feeds those things. You know they feed those through? Social media. They, they feed you through your job. They feed you through these wicked women that's walking the streets that's half naked. Right. The, the devil is the one that puts those in the street. That's right. The Most High ain't putting that in front of you. The Most High wouldn't tempt you above your strength. But the devil gives you exactly what you need to stay away from God. You understand? The devil gives you your heart's desire. It's easy for you to default to nigger. It's easy for you to do that. When you get up in the morning, you don't want to wash your face. You don't want to do nothing. You just want to get out in the street and do evil. Guess what? The devil happy with you. That's my son. I appreciate you. Do that evil. Sell them drugs. Pour your women. Do that thing. The devil does that. God doesn't want that from his sons. He wants you to build. He don't want you to destroy. The devil destroys his people. We have to be builders, not destroyers. We are builders. Everywhere we've gone, every captivity we've ever been in, we've built it. We built these streets. We built every captivity we've ever been in from Egypt all the way to this last Babylon. Bring it out. We built this thing. But guess what? We also going to tear it down. Read. Mark chapter 7 verse 21. For from within, out of the heart of men, proceed evil thoughts, adulteries, fornications, murders, thefts, covetousness, wickedness, deceit, lasciviousness, Lasciviousness, lasciviousness is sexual sin. 
any type of sexual sin. Guess what Atlanta is known for? Bring it out. They're known for all the sexual foolishness that goes on in this town. That's right. People come from out of town to come here to get into it. All kind of evilness that used to go on downtown. Teach. All the gay stuff that the down low men that come out of town that come here. That's a, that's a form of lasciviousness. Right. So when the, when, the, when the brother says something about you putting on your shirt, guess what? He wasn't talking about just women. Facts. Teach. Stone cold facts. Right. Out here, bro, it can go down. It's horrible out here. Right. Am I lying? Right. Read. An evil eye, blasphemy, pride, foolishness. All these evil things come from within and defile the man. All of these things come from within, out of your wicked heart. That's right. This, this is your heart. Right. This is the heart that the, the Most High God is talking about. It's not talking about the muscle in your chest that can be replaced. It it's not talking about something that can be replaced with plastic. Bring it out. That's stupid. Bring it out. The pastor in the church say, well, God just knows your heart. He knows your heart. How does he know your heart when your heart is in your head Bring and his out. heart is evil too? Teach. His heart is just as evil as yours. He hasn't repented. He's teaching you evil. And he's telling you put money in a basket so you can be just as evil as he is. But you can feel a little bit better because you put money in a basket and he resolved you from sin. How can he resolve you from sin? He hasn't even told you what sin is. He hasn't even showed you what sin was. You go to church every Sunday and you were, you've been going to church for 20 years. You don't even know what sin is. Wake it up. You don't know what it is. You don't know what the medicine is to heal you from the sickness that you're in. Bring it out. Our people are sick with That's sin. Right. Right. Our people, my man, with the Reebok, I see you ears wide open. Come over. We, okay. We teaching our people, showing our people there's a better way. Right. Nobody's out here. Where the church is at? Right. Where the Christian pastors? Where's Creflo? Where's all, where's, all the, where's all the people that steal your money every Sunday? They got the big cars. They got the houses. They got right. the jets. Where are those people at? Teach. Don't our people need him out here in the streets? Right. Why they ain't out here? Right. Why they not out here trying to save the youth? Right. Right. The youth is they, they out here dying every day. The detention centers are full with kids that all they need is a father figure. Teach. Right. All they need is a man to tell them, you're going the wrong way, son. That's right. The Bible tells us that we have to be a father to the fatherless. Right. Bring it out. You got men that don't know how to be fathers. Know why? Because they don't know the Bible. That's right. Read what you got. They don't know how to be fathers. But guess what we out here doing? Teaching men how to be fathers. That's right. Read. Malachi chapter 3 verse 8. Bring it out. Will a man rob God? Because the pastor will preach that all day long. He'll tell you, don't read the Old Testament. Teach. Guess what Malachi is? The Old Testament. That's right. He say, don't go in the Old Testament. It it's too hard for you to understand. Bring it out. So why are we in Malachi? Why are we in Malachi? And you going to tell me about doing what? Will a man rob God? I didn't know God had Apple Pay. Teach. Bring it out. I didn't know God had PayPal. Bring it out. I didn't know God dealt with money orders. Yet, ye have robbed me. God is not talking about money. Teach. He's talking about the priests. That's right. He's talking about the priests. Bring it out. And he was talking about sacrifices. But ye say, wherein have we robbed thee? In tithes and offerings. Ye are cursed with a curse. For ye have robbed me, even this whole nation. Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse. Bring, bring ye all the what? Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse. So do you think it's talking about Wells Fargo? Do you think it's talking about Navy Federal? Bring it out. What do you think oh. he's talking about? What do you think that he's talking about putting in the storehouse? What would you have to bring that you would put into a storehouse that you can rob somebody of? Does it, does it kind of make sense now? So when the pastor's talking for two hours, with the book closed, our people, nobody says, hey, pastor, quick question. What's this robbing thing you you keep talking about every Sunday? Teach. Every Sunday you keep talking about this rob thing. Teach. 
I feel I feel a kind of way, Pastor. Can you explain that to me? Twenty years you've been going to church and not one person has said anything to him. Bring it out. Every weekend you get sung the same songs. You keep clapping to the same the same song. You keep getting the same scriptures, and nobody's growing spiritually. Preach. The women in there is looser than ever. The little boys is as feminine as ever. They grow they grow up to be effeminate. They effeminate little boys, they grow up to be effeminate men. Right? The same ones that's playing the piano in there. Not talking about my, my righteous brothers that play piano. I'm talking about the little effeminate boys that play piano. Right. Right. Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse, Preach. that there may be meat in mine house. There may be what? That there may be meat in mine house. Food. Right. Food. Right. We kept the feast with each other. That's right. We kept the feast. Tonight's the new moon. Bring it up. Right. Tonight's the new moon. We're going to have a feast. Right. right. We're going to have a party. Right. right. Every new moon right. is a feast. Right. right. Bring it out. Every feast we eat. Right. We bring the food together so we can sit down and we can eat. It's not talking about money. Preach. How hard would that have been for somebody to stand up and ask that one question? One question. That would have shut the whole church down. That's Everybody right. would have got up, passed the deuces, and walked out. Church would have been shut down the next week. Right. Because right. can't, can't, can't nobody pay the rent. Can't nobody to pay the rent. Car going to get repossessed. House gonna get foreclosed on. He gotta sell the big jet. Wife gotta give up all the jewelry. That's right. Clothes gonna get sold. Right. And prove me now, herewith, saith the Lord of hosts, if I will not open you the windows of heaven. Uh oh, because the windows of heaven is talking about what? What could what could the windows? If we're talking about food, if we're talking about food. What could the windows of heaven be talking about? Bring it out. Bring it out. What could the windows of heaven, big man, what could the windows of heaven be talking about if we're talking about food? Teach. We're not talking about Kroger. We damn sure ain't talking about Papa John's. We ain't talking about American Deli. They had to grow the food. So what could the windows of heaven be? Animals. Come on, work with me. Bring it out. Huh? Animals. Huh? Animals. Uh, what, what comes from... What comes from heaven? When you look up in the sky, what comes from heaven? Huh? They grow the food? Come on, brother. Come on. And pour you out a blessing. And pour. He said it. Pour who? Who said it? Josh said it? Who said it? Come on, man. Uh, man, I just want to go. Come here, man. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Give him a star, Cap. Come on, man. Come on. How hard was that? How hard was that? We go to church. You got people that's in church with master's degrees. You, know, you, know. you got people that sit in church that that's been in, that's that's teachers. Right. That can't deduce that. Right. That's not hard. You look up in the sky. There's rain. Right. That grows your crops. Right. The crops feed the animals. That feeds the people. You know. That's a blessing. 20 years down the drain. Bring it out. That there shall not be room enough to receive it. It's going to be a blessing so much that it's not going to be room in the storehouse for you to keep. That's it. 20 years. I just summed it up in two minutes. 20 years. She's been sitting in church her whole life and she never understood that. Bring it out. And all she had to do was stay for five more minutes and she would have got it. Nation is men leading by example.